Welcome everyone to the YouTube channel. I am Toy Nuts. Today I'm at the Northwest Arkansas Comic Con. This is located at the Embassy Suites in Rogers, Arkansas. This is our little convention that could, if you will, growing every year. Lots of guests, lots more vendors than previous years. So take you through a quick walkthrough here, showing you the show floor. To year for uh, celebrities they brought in uh, several really good ones a lot of anime voice actors which I really am not big into so I do not know their names but I know one of them was for like the voice of uh, Ash Ketchum uh, the two gentlemen that do the voices for Mario and Luigi and all the video games they were also here and very popular they had some of the longest lines uh, one of the names I didn't know and really didn't get a chance to meet because again really popular was uh, Tom Kenny the voice of Spongebob Squarepants they also had Bill Hadir from uh, Napoleon Dynamite. He was really cool. And then, of course, the ones I came for was uh, Francis Chow, who did the uh, original Shredder in the uh, Turtle movies. And the main reason I was going is he is the voice of Quick Kick from the G.I. Joe cartoons. They also had professional wrestlers JBL, Justin Bradshaw, and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I did like their setup this year. They had the uh, celebrities and the voice actors and everything. They had them lining the outside of the uh, showroom here. So it really freed up a lot of space. Uh, the lines were confined to one section or one area of the uh, show. It's like, you know, so everybody that wanted to shop, they were not getting in the way of the people standing in lines. Really well organized. I will give them this credit. Uh, great job, guys. That's why I want to come back every year. Hope this uh, keeps growing. Uh, for vendors this year, um, yeah, there were a lot of good ones. Um, lots of anime inspired because it's this is what this uh, convention, I think, really started out. was more of an anime convention, but it's really growing into more of the pop culture and everything, which is really good to see. Uh, you had everything from custom-made artwork, prints, posters, keychains, pins, and such like that. Uh, there were several cosplay uh, dealers uh, dealing with uh, weapons, armor, and things like that. Lots of lounge fly and squishmallows, so, you know, made the uh, wife pretty happy there. And the 501st, they were walking around. They were had a pretty really good presence this year at the show. They also had their own little private booth, and they were doing a uh, shoot the storm, or shoot the trooper. And uh, they had a uh, load Nerf blasters for the kids to uh, shoot at a couple of the uh, Imperial uh, troopers there. And uh, you donate, like, it was like a dollar, two dollars and that. And they were donating it all to uh, the local children's hospital, which is, you know, typical 501st. Those guys are awesome for doing that sort of thing. It was great to see all the uh, different people doing cosplay that were attending. There were lots of people walking around in cosplay costumes, which is always fun to see. Um, and again, this booth was nothing but uh, stuffed animals, pops, and these really cool uh, crystal light up uh, Pokeballs. I really am, was impressed by that. But yeah, as you can see, like I said, they had booths for just about everybody here. Uh, they did have a, a really good uh, action figure booth. This gentleman here sold uh, modified Nerf guns. Uh, he has uh, a lot of the blasters that he hand painted. And then in, uh, he uh, did uh, do modifications, so they fired a little more powerful than uh, regular retail blasters. It was really nice and uh, had, I thought, I did not see anything. There were some overpriced items, but 90% of it was uh, very good pricing. So it's like if you're looking and hunting for stuff, I mean, this was a pretty good show to go for. The uh, Star Trek groups here, there were two of them, one of the loco, the uh, USS Blackstone, and then a one from Central Arkansas, the uh, Sung Tzu. Um, th those guys were really nice. They're always got a really good booth set up here. And then... Uh, like I said, the 501st was here. We had the uh, two chapters of the uh, Ghostbusters. We have the Northwest Arkansas, and then the Central Arkansas Ghostbusters units were here. 
So yeah, here's the uh, 501st booth. Like I said, they for if you know anything about the 501st, which you probably do, these guys are great. Uh, they have some really cool builds. You just pick their brains. They're willing to help. They're willing to talk to you. Love the 501st. These guys are great. They had a real, like I said, there's the uh, shoot the trooper booth or blast the trooper. Um, they were just really fun. They, they, they had a fun booth. Nice setup this year. And then, uh, like I said, here's our uh, local, uh, local Arkansas and Central Arkansas Ghostbusters group. The, uh, this is our local LARPers, which is actually, there's two. There's one for uh, Springdale and then the uh, Fayetteville area. And again, they were really nice. Talked to my daughter, trying to convince her to join. So hopefully uh, be able to hook up with them. And then they had a cool little Lego section. This guy built a little Lego droid. And they got this room. They were doing the role-playing games and such. Uh, free free role-playing games, card games, and video games. They were doing a Smash Brothers tournament was in the middle of. And then... In the back half of the room, they had the uh, Lego people set up. This was a lot of the role play people were in here and a lot of the equipment. Here's our Lo Arkansas uh, Lego group here. And a lot of the stuff is uh, retail sets that they put together, some modifications to them here and there. But there were some personal uh, designs and builds, like the Cat in the Hat. I love this little Lorox um, set that they did. The person who built this was this really, I love this set. This is a cool little uh, setup they did right here. You can see some really good detail on this and that. They were, they had fun and it was just a fun set. This was one of my favorite pieces, along with the one that was right next to it the Sesame Street and all that, some of the different houses. But then, I really like this. This is the Psycho House, or the Psycho Set. Uh, this was uh, just really funny, really cool, really hilarious. These guys did a good job. Very friendly people to talk with. They'll chat with you and everything. These guys were cool. This was a really great show this year. Really happy I was able to make it to the uh, Northwest Arkansas Comic-Con. If you guys were able to go, drop a comment below. Let me know what you saw there, who you met, what you thought of the show. I loved it. It was really cool. I'm going to drop some uh, links in the uh, description here so you can uh, follow along on their uh, Facebook page and everything. Here's some pictures of me meeting the uh, voice actor, Francis Chow, JBL, and Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Then I uh, also dropped in a couple of pictures of the uh, figures I had signed and what items I was able to pick up. So if you would, please give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and have a wonderful day and excelsior!